All right, so we're going to talk about mean, meaning, and mode at this point. If you're in my class, we're picking up from where we left off in 8.4, and we're going to talk about it, but I wanted to separate the videos. All right, so the measures of central tendency can be used to describe an average value in a set of data. Mean and median give a sense of the center of the data set. Mean is calculating the average by adding the data and dividing by the number of data. So x bar equals the summation of x divided by n by the number of data sets we have. Now we'll have outliers. Those are extreme scores in a data set. And you have to decide what you're going to do with them. Will you discard them? Or will you use another measure other than the mean? Because the outliers will affect your mean. If they're outliers, they're like if, if these are our data points right here, these are our data points, then the outliers are going to be way like over here where my finger is or way over on this side. They're not in the, the group. Now, the median describes the middle of a data set. So think like the strip of the middle of the road. When we're driving down the road, there's the median in the middle. That's how I remember that one. When you're computing the median, if you have an odd number of values, the median is the middle position. But if you have an even number of values, the median is the mean of two middle values. Now the median is not affected by a few outliers. We often want to know which data value occurs most frequently in a data set, and that um, will be the mode. So for example, we might have a fashion designer might want to know the most common dress size. Or an automaker's might want to know the most common height of U.S. drivers so that they can make the most of what's more commonly going to be um, used. The mode of a set of data is the data value that occurs most frequently. There can be more than one mode per data set, and the mode can be computed by qualitative data such as I, or computed for qualitative data such as eye color, political affiliation, or college majors, and the mean and median are not appropriate for those types of data. So we're going to compare some measures of central tendency for a set of data. The mean, median, and mode are usually not the same. You may want to emphasize one measure over another. The three measures are often different, so it's up to you to decide how to summarize your data. If you're considering the mean, remember that one or two extreme values in a distribution have an undue influence on the mean. This is why, for example, in scoring ice skating at the Olympics, the highest and lowest scores are discarded so that we don't have to worry about those um, highs and lows. All right, so for example 10, we're going to find the mean, the median, and the mode for this set of data. Now. I've already been kind enough to put the set of data in numerical order. We don't need it in order for the mode or for the mean, but for the median we do. So this will be example 10. And yes, we're starting with 10 because the other part of this lesson went through 9. So if we have 1, 1, 1, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. five, six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what I always do is when I go to write a list of numbers, I double check that I got them all because you don't want to miss one. All right, so the first thing I want to find is the mean. Now the mean is the average. So if we're looking for the average, and it'll also be known as X bar in most cases of what we'll be doing. So we're going to take 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5, 5, 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And we've already counted that there's 10 of those. When I add that all together, I will get 37 divided by 10 will get me 3.7. That is my mean. 
Now the median is going to be the middle. So we've got 10 digits, so we're going to go in 1, 2, 3, 4, we go into the fifth part, we have two digits. We have an even set, so with the even set of digits, we're going to take the two middle terms, add them, and divide by two. Now I know they're the same number, but if you were on a test, you still have to show me the work, correct? So there's our mean, our me or midi median is the middle, and then the mode is what happens most often. And we had six fives, three ones, and one four, so the mode will be five. Now in this case, two of our numbers did equal each other, but that won't always be the case. All right, so let's go on to example 11. So on example 11, we're finding the mean, median, and or mode of the car color, which is whichever is the uh, applicable or applicable. So mode of the car or sorry mean median or mode of the car color. Now as we were reading the definitions earlier we talked about how the mean is not suitable for qualitative um, attributes. The color of a car is a qualitative a quality attribute. It's not numerical. Also, the median won't be good for this either. So the only one that works for this type of data will be the mode. And it's what happens most often. So if we look at our numbers, which number is the highest? So we have 1,300, 2,700, 1,700, 3,300, 2,300, and 1,800. And I know there's more numbers, but in general speaking. The highest one is going to be the blue with 3,333. So for 11, mode will be equal to blue. And that's the only one. The others are not suitable for this, so we will not use them. All right, example 12. So which single measure of central tendency, mean, median, or mode, would you say best describes the following measurements? So we have all numbers happening here. We could find the mean, we can find the median, and we could find a mode for this. So let's go find them and then see what we decide because we need some practice. So our mean, we will add all of these together. So we have 7.00 plus 6.90 plus 8.50 plus 6.80, and I'm putting those on, all the zeros on because that's what they have on um, the chart. 7.20, 7.23, plus 8.15, 7.82, 6.80, and 83.00. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so we've got them all. We're going to divide by 10. So on the top, we have 149.4 divided by 10. We'll get us 14.94. Now, on this one, most of our numbers are seven, close to seven, eight and a half, 6.8, close to seven, close to seven, close to seven, a little over eight, almost eight, almost seven, and 83. So the fact that we're at 14 for the mean, that's not a good sign that this is accurate because most of them are between six and eight. So this is influenced by the outlier of 83. Okay, that 83 threw off our mean. Okay, let's go find the median. So 
So the median, we've got to put everything in numerical order. So we'll have 6.8, 6.8. I'm going to leave off the zeros this time. 6.9, 7, 7.2, 7.23, 7.4, 8.15, 8.15, and 83. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so I have all 10 numbers. So we're going to count in. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. These are our two middle numbers. So 7.2 plus 7.23. Add them and divide by 2. This will get us 14.43. Divide by 2. 7.22. So it's 7.215. We rounded it to 7.22. Alright. So this one is not affected. By the outlier. And it actual, actual, <laughs> accurately sorry, represents the middle of the data. That number is right in the middle of all of our data. That, so the 83 doesn't affect that one. Next thing we can look at is our mode. And if we look at our list, we have two 6.8s, one of those, one of those, two of these. Right? Do we have two of those? Nope. Alright. Sorry about that. It's a 8.15 and an 8.5. Alright. Our, it didn't affect our median, but our mode is going to be equal to 6.8, which is those two first numbers that are exactly the same. It is also not affected by the outlier, however, is at the low end. Of the data. So the first one of the mean, it was affected by the outlier of 83. It wasn't a good one. The median was not affected and neither was the mode, but the mode is at the low end of the data. So telling us that that happens the most often isn't the best. So the median is going to be our best. That would be the best measure of central tendency for this data set would be the median. All right, let's go look at example 13. On 13, we want to find the mean, the median, and the mode for the data in the table. So we've got some more data happening here. These are price earnings ratios for eight stocks in a portfolio. Example 13. And for this one, we're going to again find the mean, median, and mode. So our mean will be equal to 6.9 plus 10 plus 19.4 plus 31.8 plus 12.9 plus 8.8 plus 10. Uh, plus 15.9. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all of our numbers. Divide by eight. So we get a total of 115.7 when we add them, and we get a mean of 14.46. All right, now let's look at our median. We don't have any major outliers, but we have a little bit. We've got some 31 out here, 6.9s are low, but it's not, it's not absolutely horrible. All right, so let's find our median. Again, we have to list them in numerical order. 
so 6.9, 8.8, 8.9, 15.9, and 31.8. Now you can kind of see a little bit of an outlier because you can see how the numbers are going. Now finding our median, we have eight terms. So one, two, three, these are our two middle numbers. So we'll have 10 plus 12.9 divided by two will get us 22.9 divided by 2, which will be 11.45. And then we'll look at the mode. So in our list, we can see that the tens happen twice and they're the only ones that repeat, which is 10. And on this one, we weren't asked whether or not one was better than the other but we're looking at um, just finding those values. Now we can talk about it a little bit, that this one's probably more in the middle of our group than the 14.46, it's probably a little bit higher. The mode is 10, it's not bad, it's still a little maybe on the low end, but not as bad, and those are pretty close together. But that's probably a little high for um, a good number because that's a lot more than what our median is. All right, let's go on to example 14. So on example 14, we are looking to find the mean, median, and mode for the data in the table. Um, we are looking at this one with the federal student financial um, assistance for country A in this table. Now, the years we're not looking at, it's looking at the average financial um, assistance. So we're going to put those together for our mean. Don't really have any super high numbers, so let's see how we get. They're all big because they're in the thousands. So our mean will be 1001 plus 1125 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all over 7. So that will get us 8410 divided by 7, which is 1201.43. All right, moving on to our median. Again, we need to put it in numerical order. So we have 1001, 1125, 1202, 1227, 1263, 1263, and 1329. Now this time we have an odd number, so as we count in, we are given our odd one right here. 1227 is the middle number there, so um, the median equals 1227. We don't have to divide by 2 because we actually have an odd number of, of uh, data points. And our mode is whatever happens the most. We've got 1263 that occurs twice, so that will become our mode. All right, we are having some weather here and that noise is the rain hitting the window. We have one more problem. Hopefully you can hear me. We're gonna find the mean, median, and mode of the foreign born population given in the table. So we've got some more numbers here. We're gonna find the mean, median, and mode again for these. All right, so this is example 15. It's our last example. So the mean will be 7504 plus 1203 
plus 923 plus 879 plus 754 plus 728 673 and 619 and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 data points, and I have 10 in my list. On the top, we will add and get 15366 divided by 10 gets us 1536.6. All right, let's go find the median. Now the median was already in numerical order, and we have 10 of them. It's going from highest down to lowest. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, those two middle numbers are going to be 923 and 879. So this will be equal to 923 plus 879 divided by 2, which will get us 901. And then our mode, none of our values um, repeat, so this will be none. So let's talk about this for just a moment. Our mean, our average, was 1,536, but our median only has 900. That's a big difference. So the middle of the numbers are right over here. So we're looking at 600, 600, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 12, and then boom, 7504. So this isn't in our question, but this has an outlier affecting it. That 7504 is jumping this way up compared to the 901. So that's our mean, median, and mode, and we will be learning some other measures of... Um, looking at the distribution of our numbers in that in uh, future lessons.